Hello and welcome back to my channel, or if you're just joining me, welcome and I'm glad you're here. I'm Christopher Neal and I'm a landscape astrophotographer from South Carolina. I enjoy capturing the night sky and sharing what I've learned over the past decade I've been doing it. Today I'm going to cover some Lightroom editing techniques that you may not have seen before, but before I start I want to let everyone know that my 2026 Nightscape calendars are now available on my website. It's a group of images that I captured at Polly's Island over the past year or so. Now let's get into it. My typical workflow is to get an image about as far as I can get it in Lightroom and then push it over into Photoshop, run filters, fine tune it, finish it up. But now I realize that a lot of people, they don't feel very comfortable using Photoshop's Layers, luminosity masking, filters, and level adjustments. It can all be a bit much sometimes, but slider-based non-destructive environment of Lightroom is a lot easier for people to function in. I feel like I may have come up with a workflow that will significantly improve landscape astro results by combining Lightroom with a few standalone apps that I use as filters in Photoshop. In this video I'm going to show you how to edit your image in Lightroom then add DxO's Color Effects Pro, Luminar 4, and Topaz Denoise. Now I'm going to work on this single image here but this could be applied to the stacking process as well. And if you'd like to see that, just let me know and I'll throw it into a Wednesday Live edit. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this image through DxO's Pure Raw 5. So we're going to launch that process. And since I'm not going to be stacking this, I won't need to kill the lens optimization process. And there we go. Now once I have the DNG that I'm going to edit, I'm going to switch to the develop module. And I'm going to run one of my presets. In this case, I'm going to run one with landscape. Now this will automatically set up the edit for me and I can start going through the panels. I have these presets available on my website and I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to take a look. Now the white balance has been automatically set, but I'm going to tweak it just a little bit. I'm going to cool it down and I'm going to bump the tint up just a just a little bit. I think I like the way that looks better. And the next thing I'm going to do is it automatically launches adaptive color in the preset and it reduces the exposure uh, about one and a quarter. And I'm going to make sure that that image looks okay and that my histogram's good. And I'm going to leave that alone. It doesn't need any further adjustment. And from here, I'm going to go into the masking to make some local adjustments. Now that preset that I ran automatically creates the landscape masks in Lightroom. And since there's no vegetation in this particular image, I'm going to go ahead and delete that mask, but it did not pick up the lifeguard stand. So we're going to add that in separately and I'm going to select objects and we're going to paint over the lifeguard stand here. Should be good enough. And there you go. It picks up the lifeguard stand. Now the first mask that I'm really going to work with is my sky. And I'm not all that happy with the way that edit has come out. So I'm just going to grab the subtract here. And I'm going to use a linear gradient. And we're going to push up from the bottom. To give my horizon a nice line and we're going to begin the edit. We're going to add some contrast, pull my highlights out, push my shadows down, add some whites, drop the black point just a little bit, actually not, not much at all for this image. I'm going to leave the color alone. We're going to add some texture in, clarity, and now a bit of dehaze, not, not too much. It wasn't all that hazy in this image. And then next we're going to go for the water, and I'm, I'm not seeing a couple of things that I probably should see. So we're going to go in and adjust this mask a little bit. I'm going to use the brush tool to pick up a little bit more water there. Back to the top. 
We're going to give it some contrast to take out a little bit of that haze. I'm going to boost the highlights, boost the shadows, boost the whites just a little bit. It looks like it's picking up the Milky Way in there pretty good. Bring the whites up. Leave the blacks in the temperature alone. Give it some texture. Clarity. Just a bit of dehaze, not much. And next we're going to work with the natural ground. I got one small problem here. So I'm going to use the brush tool to take that out. Bump the exposure up just a little. Give it some contrast. Up on the highlights. I'm going to bring the shadows up. The whites up. I'm not going to mess with the blacks, but I am going to warm that foreground up. That sand up just a little bit. Give it some texture. Some clarity. No, I don't want any dehaze. And next we're going to hit this lifeguard stand just a little bit. I don't think it's going to be that big of an effect because I'm not going to take too big a swing. Bring the whites up. Leave the rest of it alone. Get some texture. A little bit of clarity. A little bit of dehaze. Just to bring a little bit of the detail out in that. Now at this point I'd normally push over into Photoshop to finish this image up there. But I'm going to continue on in Lightscape. I'm going to do that by coming in here and right clicking in the image. And I'm going to run an edit with ColorFX, Nick, Nick Collection 8 ColorFX Pro. Now what it's done is create a duplicate of that image that I was working with. And I'm going to come in. I've got a set of recipes that I really like. These are the ones that I use in Photoshop. But we're going to apply them over here. And I'm going to look through a couple of these. Uh, I think I like. Yeah, I like this one best. But I'm going to drop correct contrast down a little bit push dynamic contrast up no, I'm not thinking I'll leave color correct alone but I'm going to take brilliance and warmth out now I'm going to apply and it creates a second image this is what we started with this is where we are but we're not done I'm going to continue that process by edit in and in this case I'm going to edit in luminar 4 with Lightroom adjustments, creates an additional image and it pulls up Luminar 4. Now I use some Luminar looks and this one is Seascapes. As I hover over them it'll change the entire image to match. And I really like Misty Mood. I'm going to turn the strength down just a little bit. I like it there. And finally, I've got one more edit. I'm going to run Topaz Denoise AI. Now, I realize I've already run Denoise in Pure Raw, but I'm going to take another pass with Topaz. And we can see we've got a little bit to clean up, a little bit in the core to clean up, and in the foreground. So I'm going to apply that. Now we've gone from here to here. Clearly a much better image, but we haven't done it in Photoshop. This has all been done in Lightroom. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a few local adjustments to this image to bring out a few parts of it to adjust, to address a couple of things. And I'm going to do that with masking. And I'm going to use the brush. I'm going to turn this brush down 
just a little bit. I'm going to turn the feather down and the flow down and drop the density a little bit. And I'm going to increase the size of it. Now I'm going to paint over the Milky Way here just a little bit. And what I'm doing in this case is I'm going to target mostly the darker parts of the Milky Way. And I'm going to increase the contrast. Drop the exposure just a little bit. Continue to pull those highlights out. And deepen the shadows. And I'm also going to bump the whites up just a little bit. But it's fairly subtle. This is the original. And this is the mask that I've applied. So it's not... One of the things that you really need to understand when you're using something like this is the changes need to be very subtle. Otherwise, the image will look like you've gone in and manipulated it. And that's the opposite of what we want. We want this image to look very natural. So we're going from here to here. And the only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another mask. I'm going to paint right along this edge here. A little bit in here to address this horizon line and we're going to add some contrast and drop the exposure just just a little bit deep in the shadows just kind of balance this image out that's all i want to do with it for now the last thing as we finish up is i want to export the image i'm going to export it to my hard drive where these images go And I'm going to give this one a name. And just like in Photoshop, I export at 77% quality. And I'm going to resize it to run the long edge. It's 2048. Kick my resolution up there. And then the last thing I want to do is I'm going to put my watermark, which I've already loaded in here. My white one on the right side of the image and click export there we go that's our exported image that we just ran through these edits with in Lightroom only I hope you got something out of that please let me know if you did and if you did make it this far I'm gonna put a little code up on the screen that'll let you download my presets for about half price please remember to like subscribe and leave me a comment now get out there and capture some magic